All right, happy to be back with you here. We are diving into the first step as we look at the entire course outline in its totality. What we have for the first step is that you had ears to hear. So there are many things that you really need ears to hear, but let's cover a few of them. First of all, we have this figure, this person that has divided human history. B.C. and A.D., before Christ and A.D., Anno Domini, the year of our Lord Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus Christ. He had some things to say, and the Bible's actually all about Jesus. And we hear from Jesus here, starting in Matthew's Gospel. Let's see what Jesus has to say. He says, This is why I speak to them in parables, though seeing they do not see, though hearing they do not hear or understand. Pretty interesting words there from what many believe to be just a mere man, but the, the person of Jesus didn't speak like just a mere man. He spoke with authority as if he knew the hearts of men. Could it be true that he knew the hearts of men? What else did he say? Then he said, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. So he's speaking from a position of authority. And this first step has to do with having ears to hear. So we can start by having ears to hear what Jesus is saying to us today. John's Gospel, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one, zero, no one comes to the Father but through me. Who's the Father? Don't we all believe that God is our Heavenly Father? Some may say, no, you can't know that God's a Father. God could be a female. God could be a, we don't really know. Well, the God of the universe, according to the Bible, has revealed himself as a Heavenly Father. And here you have to contend with the person who is on your side. Jesus Christ, who says that no one can come to this Father except through me. Very interesting words. Here's another quote from Jesus from John's Gospel. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. Serious words for someone that is just a mere man, right? Jesus is saying, I will raise him up on the last day. Various, very serious words to contend with as we look objectively at things. If we want to be real about life and we really are seeking the truth, let's keep listening to Jesus because step one's about having ears to hear. Then he said, I tell you the truth, unless you turn from your sins and become like little children, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. Speaking with authority about heaven and truth that he's telling us the truth and what we need to do and how we need to be to enter the kingdom of heaven. Now, what else did Jesus say? Because this is all about having ears to hear. Let's listen to the one who has something to say that really matters. Jesus answered and said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now we've got this phrase, born again where did that come from jesus is revealing new information to people and he's talking about god and heaven and birth and rebirth and saying truly truly putting emphasis be behind the fact that he's talking about serious stuff and he's speaking truth to people john 3 3 you must be born again according to jesus well what's that all about Let's continue listening in to Jesus. Jesus says, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Don't be amazed that I said to you, you must be born again. Jesus is saying, this shouldn't be anything that should astonish you. He says, the wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it, but do not know where it comes from and where it's going. So is everyone who is born of the spirit. Wow, that is some deep stuff there, right? John 3, and Jesus is talking to a religious leader at this point, Nicodemus. Here's Jesus hanging on the cross. We know from 
all accounts of history that this person, Jesus Christ, hung on a cross. And we know from the Bible and from God's revelation that he was the sinless Lamb of God, a sacrifice for all of mankind to atone for their sins. And this is love demonstrated that we didn't love God, but that God loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. So we're going to look at that a little bit more in this course. But as we have ears to hear, and hopefully you have ears to hear what Jesus has said to this point, let's look at the fact that Jesus loves you. And we're talking about heaven here and having success. So this is where I will draw your attention to and continue to draw your attention to in this course. He said that he's the only way to heaven. No one comes to the Father except through him. So that's a bold statement. And if you want to have success, I'm going to encourage you to listen to Jesus and the rest of the points made in this course. Let's see what's coming up. We're going to look at the fact that the second step is about you changing your mind. Such a, a simple thing, really, in a sense, to just kind of turn the channel. And that's what God's asking you to do, is to change your mind about some things. So I'm excited to keep moving into this course. We've got step two coming up. I will see you in the next module.